All right, everybody, welcome back to the Star Wars Galaxy of Vera's video. And today you can see the great mothers have uh, finally been dropped here. Very excited to see what lays in this kit. I'm pretty sure, without having looked at it yet, that uh, they will be required for, I believe they said Balin's skull, if I remember correctly. So that'll be exciting. We'll see what happens here. But, uh, well, let's get right into this kit reveal, shall we? If you enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. We'll see more content just like this. Now let's get into it. All right, so energy threads, magic storm, fate weaving, gift of shadows. I see two abilities here with those little probe things that popped up for like three seconds in Ahsoka. So that's still be interesting to see what they can do with these abilities. Um, nice Mr. Dark Side support leader. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty obvious. Uh, elite marquee, rare type. Oh, oh, they're a marquee. Okay. Rare type of unit that has more power than a typical marquee, but at the same accessibility. Interesting. Okay. Leader for a second Nice Sister squad, uh, which is his new favorite Nice Sister squad. That's interesting. Introducing two new effects, Blessed for an ally and Doomed for an enemy. They're adding a lot of new effects with these Ahsoka marquees. Um, and this is the second large unit, like Jabba, to come to Galaxy of Heroes. So all three of these will be deployed at once. Um, these three characters will, are always seen on screen with another, uh, one other, and uh, you see them working together, blah, 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 and support have three and one, so it's like Jabba. Um, these are the three names, I'm gonna try to say those. Um, and based on Greek fates, uh, the fates would spin a thread of a person's life and manipulate events by manipulating their thread. Also kind of similar, don't kill me, kind of similar to what they were talking about in the Acolyte. Don't kill me. It's just kind of the same word. I'm seeing the same theme there. Um, yeah, so that's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, in, in Grand Arenas, Blessed stops instant defeat effects. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, kind of trying to counter Jedi Master Kenobi and Cat. Uh, also, uh, that would, I believe, also apply to what? That would be kind of similar to Marin, right? Similar, similar idea to Marin. Uh, doomed enemies will lose their protection. Making mo great mothers excellent against teams with a lot of protection and protection recovery. I don't think that would work against Gungans because they said Gungans are immune to effects, effects like this. Um, but I'm very interested to see if that's the case or not. Uh, blessed allies can target doomed enemies so you can quickly defeat quick, weak enemies without worrying about taunt. That is pretty good. Uh, blessing your attackers is generally the way to go because of the assistant offense buff. Okay, so yeah, blessing Morgan Elizabeth can be valuable in some situations because they're basic, extremely powerful. So you want to keep. Basically, making sure Morgan Elizabeth assists. I, I see what's going on here. Uh, so this is, uh, what's an elite marquee? It's uh, uh, basically better than a marquee. Uh, large unit, how do I acquire? Uh, mar marquee, uh, bespoke Datacron. Okay, well, the Night Sisters have a Datacron, so that would be great. And uh, Relic 7, Baylon Skull requirement. Why do you spell magic instead of magic on the other Night Sisters? The Night Sisters of Pretty's abilities are slightly different than that of the Dathomir, uh, Dathomiri, and is represented by the alternate spelling to the, of their connection to the Force. I see. Okay, so uh, that's kind of just how it works. Let's let's see the kit. All right, we've had enough dilly dallying. Um, that's pretty cool. There we go. Basic uh, the energy threads. This is kind of a throwing up their little lasers and boom. There we go. That's kind of cool. Uh, deal special damage to a target enemy if the enemy has it doomed. Inflict a tenacity down for two turns, and they lose 20% max health stacking under the counter, which can't be evade or resisted. Otherwise, in fact, ability block and speed down for two turns. Ability blocks be kind of nice on a basic. Ability block on the basic is pretty cool. I like those. Um, blessed allies gain foresight for two turns, and non-tank blessed allies gain stealth for one turn. So basically, you can't give Morgan Elizabeth uh, stealth, uh, which is good because she's a tank. So, uh, Magic Storm. Let's take a look at this. This looks pretty cool. Look at the look at their like headdresses. That's so cool. I love how they did this. They animated this really well. Uh, if the enemy if the enemy leader is light side, dispel all debuffs on all Night Sister allies. Dispel all buffs from all enemies. And doomed enemies are inflicted with vulnerable for two turns. Deal special damage three times to all enemies. If this attack defeats an enemy, all Night Sister allies gain defense penetration up for two turns. That's not bad either. Um, so this one seems pretty pretty standard. It's a buff dispel uh, with some extra nice stuff in there. Um, then here's your unique with an Omicron. Uh, is it a grander? Uh, territory Wars. Boom! Territory War Omicron. I guess it saves us Omicrons, but... Nice Sister Allies gain 30% accuracy, max health, and tenacity, but can't be revived. That's very key to making sure that they are separate from the other Nice Sister squads. Can't be revived. That's the important part right there. Well, one of the important parts, anyways. Uh, this effect persists through defeat. That was pretty cool. At the start of each encounter, and whenever an attacker, a Nice Sister Ally, or Great Mother does critical hit, attacker, Nice Sister Allies gain Foresight and Stealth for one turn. So that's more Stealth and more Foresight. We saw that with one of the other abilities up here, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, whenever an enemy is critically hit, Great Mothers and Blessed Allies gain 1% off and stacking for two turns and recover 2% protection. Double the, the enemy has a vulnerable. Whenever a vulnerable enemy starts its turn, all Nice Ninja Allies gain foresight, more foresight for two turns. And non-tank Nice Ninja Allies gain self for one turn. They're really kind of pairing this very obviously with Morgan Elsbeth, if you haven't guessed by now. <laughs> They're really putting this together so you can play with Morgan Elsbeth. Um, so whenever doing any gains turn meter, Blessed Allies gain 25% turn meter. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then in Territory Wars, whenever a vulnerable enemy is Great Grandmothers, and most of the allies get 5% turn meter. Um, the first time any of the other nice allies are reduced by 1% health, dispel all debuffs on themselves, gain Blessed for 2 turns if they didn't already have it, which can be combat themselves or prevented, and damage immunity. Okay, damage immunity is not bad either. Um, recover 100% health and protection, cooldowns reset, uh, Blessed is removed if reset, or if defeated, it's removed. Uh, they already Blessed, there you go. Okay, so a lot of basically buffing up this uh, blessed buff. That's really what this is. This was, this really feels like. Doubling down on Foresight, uh, doubling down on Stealth, doubling down on Blessed. That's what this Omicron does. Uh, and then here's the leadership. Uh, gain 30% off uh, defense, sorry. Max health and 30 speed. If all allies are nice sister at the start of the battle, at the start of an, each encounter, and at the end of each turn, if there's no enemies inflicted with Doom, the Great Mother's dispel ability block from themselves. Oh, that's pretty cool. So basically, if everyone survives their turn, uh, and, uh, if all allies are Night Sisters, that's, uh, you get, you dispel ability block, which is really helpful. I always find myself wanting to do that, so <laughs> that's nice to see them, uh, take that initiative for us. Um, let's see, where were we at? Um, no enemies inflicted with Doom, uh, um, yeah, and then granted ability Fate Weaving takes a bonus turn. During this bonus turn, Great Mothers can only use Fate Weaving. So, more Fate Weaving, that is the base, or no, that's not the basic, hold on, Great Weave, where, what is, which, which one's that? Fate Weaving is the third one. Hold on, let's see. Get another Fate Weaving. Uh, I guess here it is. Yeah, Fate Weaving. I haven't talked about it yet, so... That's pretty cool. Alright, another one. Yeah, cool. Um, let's see. And then take a bonus turn. A, a Fate Weaving. Others can't use Fate Weaving two times in a row. If the enemy leader is the light side to spell stealth and ignore taunt effects. Again, more stealth stuff. If all allies are nicest at the start of battle, at the end of each turn, if there are no other allies with Blessed, Great Mothers remove ability, so more ability block removal. They wanted to make sure that Great Mothers and uh, Mother, or Morgan Elspeth are taking turns. Um, Great Mothers can only use Gift of Shadows. Doomed enemies can always be targeted by Blessed enemies and Great Mothers. So it's kind of interesting that they're kind of like blocking off abilities for different turns, kind of depending on what you do. You can unlock certain abilities or lock other abilities uh, on you. Kind of depends on what you're doing with that, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, Target enemies inflicted with a stash of damage over time for one turn and doomed for the rest of the encounter. For the rest of the encounter. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, doomed, uh, which you can't be get rid of. Uh, protection is disabled. They can't stealth. Lose 20% max health whenever a character ends their turn until the end of the encounter and can't revive. Uh, raid bosses and Galactic Legends minus 5% defense. Okay, so not not too much going on with the Galactic Legend there. I assume... I assume... Well, maybe this does apply. They're saying on top of that they get this. I would, maybe I, I thought this was going to be an alternate. Maybe it's both. Uh, Gift of Shadows, target one other, uh, target other Night Sister ally gains Blessed for the rest of the encounter or until defeated, which can't be caught as well and prevented. 20% uh, max health with offense, immune to the instant defeat effects, stun, and tournament reduction. Okay, that's pretty cool. So they really want you to be taking turns and using the abilities here. That's what I'm seeing a lot of. Uh, and then Territory Wars, Night Sister allies get 30% defense, basically buffing them up again. This is basically the same thing as they were doing with Blessed with the other, uh, other Omicron, except it's just maybe a little bit less stats you get. Um, it's kind of just uh, buffing up the uh, buffing up the doomed stat is what I'm seeing. Uh, Fate weaving target means inflicted with stat. Yeah, this is what we basically just read. Uh, so that's the gift for it. And then here is gift of shadows. There's got a lot of gifts in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see the ability. Again. Come on, let's do it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Blessed. <laughs> it just pops up. Blessed. That's funny. Uh, target another al a nice ally of blessed for the rest of the encounter. Levied. Can't be copied. Copy dispelled. Um, I think this is what we, uh, I, you know, I think we've read both of these already. It's just going with the, uh, the gifts now. Great Mothers will not be required for GL Ahsoka. Amen to that. Thank you so much, CG. Thank you so much. That is, uh, very cool. This is a lot of, uh, what I was expecting, I'll be honest with you. Like, this doesn't have anything in here I was, like, shocked by. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe that's in their kit. This seems like a pretty standard nicer sure kit. I mean, this is exactly what I was expecting this to be. It sounds like it'll be fun. I'm interested to see where, what else this will go with and how this will, how well this will be able to counter Jedi Master Kenobi because they clearly call him out here with Cat. Um, so I'm interested to see how that will go. Um, 
Overall, I'm excited. I'm not blown away, but this seems like it'll be a pretty fun team. And as the dev said too, it's one of their favorite teams in the game right now. So uh, my new favorite night, well, one of their favorite, I guess it's their new favorite Night Sister squad, but uh, pretty fun team. It sounds like, hopefully. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I thought it was fine. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you in the next one, everybody.